Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll talk about how to implement 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. It means available demultiplexer is 1 is to 4 and I want 1 is to 8 from it. Similarly, I'll also tell you how to implement 1 is to 16 using 1 is to 8 demultiplexer. But before we proceed further, subscribe to my channel. So I'll start with this. So when we have multi demultiplexer with less number of outputs and we want more number of outputs, then first step is only one demultiplexer is not enough. We need more demultiplexers. So step one is to find out how many demultiplexers are needed. So number of demultiplexers is equals to how many outputs I want? Eight. How many outputs I have? Four. So eight divided by four. So it gives us answer 2. Then we try to divide this answer with 4. But it is not possible. So we need 2 demultiplexers. So I will draw two, four, 1 is to 4 demultiplexers. And then we will see how to connect them. So these 2 are my 1 is to 4 demultiplexers. And their outputs are 0, 1, 2, 3. And here also 0, 1, 2 and 3. 3. Then I will write them as y0, y1, y2, y3. This is y4, y5, y6 and y7. So from y0 to y7 now I have total 8 outputs. When I wanted to implement this 1 is to 8 demultiplexer I need to identify how many select inputs are needed. So, formula is 2 raised to m is equals to n. Here n is equals to 8. n means number of output lines. So, I have 8 output lines. So, select inputs will become 3. So, 3 selection inputs are needed here. So, we have 2 select inputs here for 1 is to 4 demultiplexers. So, I will connect them together. This is my least significant bit S0. This is my S1. Now I want S2 also. So to every demultiplexer there is one more input which is enable input. So this is my enable input. And what I will assume? I will assume my enable is active high enable. So this is E. This is E. So what I will consider I will do. I will connect my third selection input to my enables. And but before how to connect them together before explaining this I will write the truth table. And before that let me tell you in case of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer inputs are there is only one input. But here we have two inputs. So what I will do I will short them and I will connect external data input here. So now I have one input 8 outputs. These two are select lines. I need to do something about third select line. So first let me write the truth table and then I will tell you how to connect them. See here for first four conditions the select input is 0 and for next four conditions select input is 1. My enable here is active high enable. It means this multiplexer will turn on if this enable will receive 1. But for first four conditions, this select input is 0. But I want for first four conditions, my first demultiplexer should be selected. So what I will do, I will simply connect this enable to my select input S2. I will put inverter here. And then inverted S2 will come here. So you can see for first four conditions here S2 is equals to 0. So second IC will receive enable as 0. So second IC will remain disabled. Whereas because of this inverter this IC will receive 1 for first four conditions and this will generate the output. In case of active low enable, if your IC has active low enable, then instead of putting inverter here, you can connect inverted S2 to second IC. 
so see here how this will work when select inputs are 0 0 0 so this is 0 this is 0 and my s2 is also 0 because of this 0 here this will receive 0 so this ic will remain off because of this 0 1 will come here so enable is 1 so this ic is now on then because of this 0 0 the whichever d input will come here it will go to y 0 so our y 0 is equals to d in that d in can be 1 or it can be 0 and another or remaining outputs will remain 0 then when this will become 0 0 1 because of this 0 now here 0 1 will come and here s2 is still 0 so see for first four conditions our first D multiplexer will get selected if it is 0, 1, our out input will go to Y1. For 1, 0, it will go to Y2. For 1, 1, it will go to Y3. That's it. So, here we will get output because this is 0, 1. So, we will get output here at Y1 and other bits or other output pins will remain 0. Similarly, here 0, 0. And we will get output at because 1 0 is equals to 2. So, at y2 we will get output. Next is 1 1. So, 0 0 0. Here we will get our output. And then again 0 0 0 0. Now, see what will happen when this S2 becomes 1. Now, let us see this condition. S2 is 1. Now S2 is equals to 1. So here my second IC will receive this 1 directly. And because of this inverter, here inverter is placed. Because of this inverter, here what will come? 0 will come. So for next 4 conditions, our first IC will receive 0 at the enable pin and when enable receives 0 here this IC will not generate any output. So here what will happen here see 0 0. So select input is 0 0 and enable is 1. So whichever value this data input same data input is connected to first IC and second IC will come here at Y 4. So this will go to Y 4 and remaining outputs will remain 0. Next, this is 1. So, forget about this. The, the job of this is to turn on the mux or D multiplexer. So, this D multiplexer is now 1 uh, on. So, for 0, 1, it will select Y1. For 0, 1, 0, Y6. For 1, 1, Y7. That's it. So, here for 0, 1, Y5 will get activated. So, here it is 0, 0, 0, 0 and here I will get D in and then again Y6, 0, Y7, 0. So, in this way we can complete this table. So, in this way we can implement 1 is to 8 D multiplexer using 1 is to 4 D multiplexer. Now, see. If you wanted to implement 1s to 16 using 1s to 8d multiplexer, again this ratio will become 2, 16 divided by 8. Now what you will have to do, you will have to take 1, 1s to 8, second 1s to 8d multiplexer, total outputs are 8 plus 8, 16. Then there will be 3 select inputs to every IC. So this will become S0, S1, S2 and then we need fourth select input for 1s to 16. So, that fourth select input is nothing but R enable and same external data input will get connected to both D multiplexer. So, see it will remain exactly same. The diagram will be like this. This is 1s to 8. This is 1s to 8. Total Y0 to Y15. Total outputs are 16. 3 select inputs are there, S0, S1, S2, same data input will get connected to both D multiplexers and here again same enable.
This is my enable Enable will get connected through and this is my S2. Enable will get connected through NOT gate. Exactly same diagram. Only difference is here you will get total 16 outputs. Here you will have 3 select inputs. In this way you can implement it. Thank you. And, and, and table will also change. Here you will have to take S3. The 4th select input and here your outputs will be till after Y7, there will be Y8, uh, 9, 10 and so on up to Y15. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.